Jeff Gerwich here with Modern Tactical Shooting. This video is all about the Zastava ZPAP M70. So let's go. All right, this is a nine shot drill with my Zastava ZPAP M70, basically an AK-47. Nine shot drill, which is three targets, three shots each, starting on the center target first. Part time is three seconds or under. Let's see what I got from five yards. <laughs> Woo! And I am clean! Just barely made it. A 293. Let's pan at the targets real quick. I'll do one more run, see if I get a little bit faster. Let's check out the hits. And we got another clean run, and I'm gonna say maybe a tenth of a second faster. Nope, a 290. And let's look at the targets real quick. Clean, clean on the center, and clean on the left. Now, part time for this is three seconds. If you've seen the original video, nine shot drill for rifles and carbines, I was able to do it in a 252 with an AR. Uh, again, I'll take anything under three seconds with a duty style rifle. You know, 762 by 39, there's no way of getting around that, you know, heavier recoil. I have a flash rider on here. Maybe with a comp, I can chop the time down a little bit. But again, I'll take anything under three seconds for a clean run. 290 was my best, not the fastest in the world, but again, not too bad with an AK. Let me set up for the nine shot drill version two and we'll have at it. All right, version two of the nine shot drill. Three shots, three targets each, starting on the center target first at the 10 yard line. Sprint forward to the five yard cone. And again, three shots, three targets each, starting on the center target first. The par time with an AR and 556, five, eight seconds or under. For an AK with 762 by 39 or say a 308, a larger caliber, I'll take anything under 10 seconds. Let's see what I got. Looks like I got one C, but if my time is good, I'll take it. So a 921, one C is half a second, so I'm just under 10 seconds. Let's check out the hits. All right, clean on the right. Clean on the left. Here's my one C. I actually felt that when I was shooting, but again, a 921 plus a half a second. I'm just under the 10 seconds, which is what you want. This drill is a balance of speed and accuracy. Uh, again, I could probably shoot it in 11 or 12 seconds clean all day long, but I want to press myself. And as long as you equal under 10 seconds with this AK, I'll take it. So how did my ZPAP stack up to the rifles I used in my original video of the nine shot drill for rifles and carbines? My best run using the ZPAP was a 290. Now that's against the AR, which my best run was a 252. Uh, I did beat my Galil ARM or ATI Galeo, which I shot a 296 for version one. Now version two, you know, I shot a 754 with my race AR. And really after multiple runs with this, uh, trying to get down to that eight seconds, uh, as I said in the clip, really, for the duty style, you know, AK, I think anything under 10 seconds when you factor in, you know, your time and your hits is acceptable with, with an AK. Uh, I'm really looking forward to once I put a comp on here, I think I'll be able to consistently get probably around a nine seconds for version two, but we'll see and I'll make a video of it. Now, even though I've had training in the military with the AK-47, uh, it was mostly with battlefield pickups throughout my career and training indigenous forces uh, on the AK-47. And when I say battlefield pickup, I truly mean, you know, AKs we got from the battlefield and we recycled them into training and, you know, handing them out to the partner forces that we worked with. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
So on the front, I put a fighter brake from the AK-47 Operators Union website. Now it's called a fighter brake, but it's actually more of a you know flash hider with some brake-like qualities, but I definitely would not compare it to a real comp. I do have a real comp on order. A buddy of mine runs a Circle 10 on his, and that thing is phenomenal, and it's not that loud and gassy, and I can't wait to get one in. I'll put it on this bad boy, and I'll probably do the nine-shot drill over again. I bet you I can probably easily hit nine seconds on version two, you know, just with a true comp. I have a KNS adjustable piston system in here. I was able to turn it down four clicks to reduce some of the recoil. Uh, TDI arms, uh, handguard, you know, for the money, I think these are the best on the market. I think it was just under $100. Of course, I got Magpul furniture, the Zukov stop, the grip, the AFG, which I trimmed a little bit off. So when I hook the magazines in, you know, it doesn't interfere with the reload. Arturo Arms Bravo mount, where I have the cheapest version of a primary arms micro dot. And for 89 bucks, you know, primary arms micro dots can't be beat. I own several versions. I've been running these since 2014. I love aim points, and I'm an aim point guy, but honestly, I will probably never buy an aim point ever again because these are so cheap and they work so well. They're super durable. Tons of videos out there on the internet of these just taking massive abuse. Uh, probably the two best, you know, modifications I made to this are the Ram extended magazine release and the Krebs, you know, they call it the Ambi Safety, but as a lefty, it has this little thumb lever here. And really, uh, without that, I could probably add a second onto every drill having to manipulate this. You know, as a lefty, I would have to basically use my support arm and then get back on it. That's a second loss right there. Uh, you really can't see it in the video, but here I can use my firing hand thumb and manipulate the safety. So the Krebs, uh, you know, MB safety is a lifesaver and this Ram magazine release. Now it said minor fitting on this Ram. Uh, you know, that was, I will say, uh, to put it mildly, it took some major fitting. I basically had to take out the old magazine release and I lay it side by side and use a Dremel and cut it and trace it to get the exact same shape. Uh, it does take drilling out the pin that holds in your uh, mag release, but they, you know, it comes with a, you know, a screw that you install, no big deal there. Of course, this has an ALG trigger, but again, probably the two best modifications for me was the Krebs Ambi Safety, which really was drop in, no fitting at all, and this RAM. It really helps uh, with magazine reloads. I talked about trimming the AFG. That's because with these AKs, you know, you've got to hook the front end, and the AFG didn't allow a lot of space. Uh, with that trimmed down, I can hook it in, and the RAM, it, I wouldn't say it's good for your index finger, but you know, your thumb does not miss this now. And with proper fitting, you know, it's a lightning fast reload. Uh, in terms of magazines, I only run the Zastava brand polymer mags. I think for the money, these are the best mags out there. And they have a bolt last round hold open built into the follower. So why wouldn't you not want one of these? All right, if you have not seen the original nine shot drill for rifles and carbines, I am providing a link down below. So go ahead and check that out. That's a full description and demonstration of me shooting the nine shot drill. Stay tuned to Martin Tactical Shooting for future shooting videos. Thanks for watching. This video was brought to you by ATS Tactical Gear. Not only do they make superb tactical nylon products at great prices, I actually graduated the Q course back in 1998 with the owner. Mike Lose, he is a former 10th Special Forces Group soldier, so his gear is really coming from a Special Forces soldier, you know, perspective uh, as far as practicality and, you know, really what works. Not only do they sponsor this video, I've actually been a brand ambassador of ATS Tactical Gear for about 10 years now. They were actually my first sponsor when I started shooting 3-Gun back in the mid-2000s. So go ahead and check them out, ATSTacticalGear.com. And again, I'm Jeff Gerwich. Thanks for watching.